so welcome back and in this class in continuation with the measures of government deficit we are here with i'm going to do primary deficit right now we finished with there are three types revenue deficit fiscal deficit and primary deficit so we have finished with the revenue deficit and the fiscal deficit and we are on with what is known as the primary deficit so in the fiscal deficit we talked about how the implication is that if if we get into a deficit it becomes a vicious circle of borrowing and then there are inflationary pressures which are which come up in the economy and we also talked about uh, dependence on foreign the rest of the world to meet the deficit needs and of course uh, we were doing uh, i'm just going to finish that economic burden for future generations that means such borrowings build up economic burden for the future generations so it is for the future generations to repay loans as well as rising rising interest liabilities so now we have what is known as a primary deficit so the third type of deficit that is calculated for the indian budget is a primary deficit so primary deficit is equal to fiscal deficit less interest payment so now what is the significance so primary deficit indicates how much government borrowing is going to meet expenses other than interest payments that means high primary deficit indicates fiscal irresponsibility of the government so irresponsible government okay so a low primary deficit on the other hand implies that the government is borrowing largely to make previous interest payments now uh, talking about all this the three types of revenue deficit fiscal deficit and primary deficits and we have made a distinction between the three on the basis of meaning indication and the formula now we are going to talk a little about financing these deficits how are they financed what does the government do to finance these deficits number 1 monetary expansion deficit may be financed by borrowing from the country central bank so the government issues treasury bills to the central bank the central bank buys these treasury bills from the government in return for cash which is created by the bank by printing new currency notes this is called deficit financing the government uses this money to fund its deficit so that's one and the second is okay i'm going to show it to you so this is how we do it and the second is so first was monetary expansion second is borrowing the budget deficit can be financed by borrowing from the domestic sources for example public and commercial banks and external sources that is foreign government world bank and other international financial institutions so now the uh, you can finance or the government finances the deficit by disinvestment so it may choose to sell its share in public sector undertakings sell sell its share of the psus and then you have what is known as a fiscal discipline the government deficit can be reduced by an increase in taxes and reduction in public expenditure so in view of limited public revenue more efforts should be made towards reduction in government expenditure which is referred to as fiscal discipline so we should not spend more the government should not spend more and should be a little more disciplined in its spending so with that we come to an end of this government budget and you should always now or you can go through your the papers in which the budget or the budget will come up soon you can see that you should make notes you should make a scrapbook based on that and you or you, the budget that has gone by you can see that it's so interesting once you know about this you know about the theory then practical becomes much more interesting so that is a good homework for you guys out there